Hey everybody, it's B Diz the Rock Star, part of Super Obvious. In this video, we're talking about the game Detroit Become Human. Let's go. This game is about three different androids that you control who each have their own stories going on with characters around them that of course intertwine at certain big moments, especially during the final act of the game. First, we have Marcus, who is owned and takes care of a guy named Carl, who is my guy from The Terminator, Scream 3, and like a million other things. He is a successful painter, but is in a wheelchair and is in bad health. His son Leo shows up wanting money for drugs, where Carl says no. While Marcus is being told to not defend himself against Leo while being attacked, he turns into something called a deviant, which is when you break out of your control system and don't do what you're told and pretty much do what you want, which is a huge deal for an android. He pushes Leo where he bumps his head and he looks like he died. Carl loves Marcus like family and tells him to leave before the cops get there because when the authorities get him, Marcus would be destroyed, deactivated, terminated, basically dead. He is later in an android dump where obviously he was caught and terminated. He turns back on and crawls to get all the parts together he needs to be functional again. Marcus finds a place called Jericho, which is this ship that has a bunch of deviants that gather together. He quickly becomes the lead and forms this revolution who are protesting to have the humans treat them fairly. He also becomes close with North, a female in the group, and they become a couple. When they touch hands, their hands turn white and they seem to have a very big emotional bond. They hijack and air a video on the news and also vandalize a CyberLife store that has a bunch of androids that really gets the word out about the androids taking a stand and the public knows everything. Next we're talking about Kara. She is owned by a guy named Todd who is not a good owner at all. He is a disgusting slob whose house is a mess because it hasn't been cleaned in weeks and that's because the android Kara was beat up by Todd so bad that she had to get fixed. He is a drunk, a drug addict, and is super mean and abusive to his little daughter Alice. While Kara cleans up Alice's room, she sees these drawings that show Todd physically abusive to his wife and that's the reason why she left him. Todd snaps again on Alice during dinner for no reason and Kara is ordered to not move while Todd is scaring Alice. She becomes deviant and helps Alice escape out the house from Todd. Kara steals some food and money and gets a hotel for the night. Kara cuts her hair and that's when I realize that she is my girl from the following. They meet a super sketch guy named Zalko who wants to experiment on androids. They also meet a guy named Luther who helps him escape. Throughout their story, they are trying to get across the Canadian border on a bus to start their new lives. They get help from a woman named Rose and her son Adam. We learn towards the climax that Alice is an android, which is a huge reveal. We also have Connor. He is an android whose mission is to help solve murders that have happened, and he is assigned with Hank Anderson, who is a lieutenant. He is also the guy in Dexter that I want dead. He is very spiteful towards androids like everybody else is. He is a drunk, and you can tell he has a lot of personal demons that he is dealing with. He even plays Russian roulette while drunk and almost kills himself. A lot of the way he is is because of him losing his son who is dead. We go to Jericho where Marcus gives his speech to all the androids about what they are going to do. Pretty much everybody else joins and is trying to escape being killed by the police with hopes of accomplishing their freedom to where they can live their lives. Depending on what you do with Connor and Marcus's confrontation scene, you can choose for Connor to disobey his orders of killing the leader of the revolution to be a deviant like the other androids. <laughs> There's a lot more that goes on, but this is pretty much hitting towards the climax of the game. This is one of those games where the decisions you make, especially really crucial ones, really impact the story as the game goes. The game has anywhere from 40 to 85 different endings, but it's true, I've seen all of them. A lot of the endings are tragic and emotionally heartbreaking for things to end so bad when you tried so hard for things to end on a good note. It's basically like watching a movie, which I really, really enjoyed. This game has one of the most interesting, intense, and emotional stories I've ever experienced in a video game ever in my life. But yeah, that's the video. Let me know in the comments how you felt about the game. Like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Totally for sure.